Oh my god! fun on Vancouver Island we made it I don't know how well you can hear me the waterfall is flowing pretty hard here we've hiked out to this beautiful spot on this gorgeous day normally we can uh, we can get down here that's where we'd have our fire and cook our food and enjoy the waterfall but the flow is so strong right now that we've had to kind of follow this donkey trail up the side of the mountain here we're gonna try and get above the waterfall and have a coffee try out some dehydrated mashed potatoes that I did last night look at that guys come on it doesn't get any better than that it doesn't get any better than this guys come on the coffee down bring you over here guys look at that Woo! the crazy thing is that in the summer People jump from here. This stump. I jump from there.
Okay guys, we found a spot a little bit off the uh, little bit off the river there. That river's screaming, so it's really hard. It'd be really hard to do any video with me talking anywhere near it. And we're still right on a stream here, as you can see. Beautiful little side stream that comes in down this little hill here. And it goes down and meets up with the big rager. We're on top of the waterfall now. We just went a little bit past that spot there. Like I say, it was just too loud. It was awesome, but it was too loud. So we got the fire going here. I got some potatoes that I dehydrated last night. I baked up some potatoes and then uh, sliced them up, put them in the de dehydrator. They look pretty good. So we're going to throw them in the pot here and see, get them soaking because I guess uh, from what I've read online they got to soak for 20 minutes or so before you can start cooking them. Then you just cook them in the water that you soak them in to make sure you lock those nutrients in. You can get those scallop potatoes, you know, in the, the dried scallop potato pre-made mix things, but they got so many preservatives and not good stuff that we don't want anything to do with here on Vancouver Island. So, uh, we're gonna try this. I brought a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt. We'll soak that and see how it goes. Grab some water here. There we go. Doing this one-handed, it's always a good time. You don't want too much in there. Just enough to cover them, I hear. Potatoes naturally have a lot of moisture in them, so it should absorb all of the water that's in there by the time it's done cooking. Okay, we'll let that soak for a bit. We're just gonna sit down and uh, enjoy the scenery here for a few. Keep the fire stocked. Woo! And uh, we'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Okay. Our potatoes have been sitting in the pot for a while now. You can see they've pretty well doubled in size, absorbed a lot of that water. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water to it and then I'm going to throw it on the heat. Yeah, what a beautiful little area. I think we really lucked out with this one, guys. Like I said, I've been to this area, but only to the bottom of the falls. Never made the climb up here. The potatoes are working away here.
can't see that at all. But they sure smell good. It's exciting. Look at that guys, We've got VI Prepper out here in the woods, it's tough to see the blade on that. That has got to be the nicest nice knife I've ever had the opportunity to put my hands on. You can see kind of what it is there. What is this knife VI Prepper? It is the Kudman Entra Sierras. The Entra Sierras. Made in Spain. Made in Spain, that is a nice knife. This is the first time he's actually gotten out and got a chance to really play with it here. So we're excited to see how that performs. Let's see the sheath on that. You can see the sheath system. It's got the horizontal carry. Makes it excellent. It actually comes with another little piece that attaches there that has, what is it, a sharpening stone? Sharpening stone and a signal mirror. Sharpening stone and a signal and mirror. And a ferro rod. And a ferro rod. So that's a sweet little setup. We're excited to be out here trying that out. You can choke up with that big choil there. Pretty aggressive jimping, but uh, really you can do some finer work with it. It makes excellent feather sticks, unreal. And micarta handles, red liners. Full tang, obviously, with something like this. It's even got the jimping in the belly. Oh yeah, that's a nice knife. Okay guys, let's have a little look at the three knives that VI Preppers chose to bring out with him today. He's got the uh, Kudman Entra Sierras there, the one that we would showed you. Then he's got the Mora Light My Fire. That's a nice little knife. Comes with a little ferro rod in it. You want to pull that out? So that comes with a little ferro rod. Handy little combo. Throws sparks like you wouldn't believe. The, the back edge has been filed at a 45 so totally designed totally made for that then we got the little more Eldris here handy little knife you've seen that in my videos before I have one also in the green and it throws sparks that one again also designed to throw sparks that particular sheath doesn't have a ferro rod attached to it but there's no redundancy on that one today the Kudman look at that it throws a spark like you wouldn't believe too like a beast. wow like a beast Wow, is that surprising? I didn't realize that that, that, that was Sharp's such a great knife fine, for that. Eh? Nice yeah. Fine on it. Yeah. No. Oh, really impressed with that. So, that's VI Preppers' three knife choice today. My little Mora Eldris there. And then I got my Leroy, my Schrade SCHF45. I love this knife. I love this knife.
Okay, guys. Potatoes are done. Look at that. They look pretty good. Fogging up again there. Sorry about that. Got some salt and some butter here. A little bit of butter. Mix that in there. There we go. Get some salt. We're laughing. Okay guys, we'll check in with you a little bit after we eat it. I'll let you know how it went. I've never done this before, so we'll see. Okay guys, the fire's out. We're ready to head out here. We had a great little day trip to this spot. You can't ask for more than this. As you can see, fire's out. DI prepper's up there. We're on our way. Okay guys, thanks for watching. As always, have fun in the woods. This is fun on Vancouver Island. Reminding you guys that it's not always about what you know. Sometimes it's just about getting out in the woods and enjoying the beauty that is Mother Nature. So, thanks again guys. If you like what you see, subscribe, like, share, comment. Hit the bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I put out a new video. I'm going to start being a lot more consistent with this. As you can see now, I got the banner removed. I'm going to start making some awesome videos. Thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed. I'm up to 70 subscribers now. I can't believe it. It's been unreal. Okay, we're back at the truck, guys. It was a good trek. Just wanted to remind everybody that if there was a certain kind of video that you guys wanted to see, you know, make suggestions. Drop it down into the comment box. And I'll do my best to, uh, to, th to try and throw it in on my next video. I'd love to get some feedback from you guys, whether or not you'd rather see some bushcraft videos, some more camp building, or uh, if you'd like to see some, some videos on wild edibles, or some videos where we go around, scour the woods, find some bugs, eat them, see how they taste. Drop a little bit of nutritional info on them. Yeah, anything like that, guys. You know, share some feedback. Let me know what you'd like to see. And uh, I'll do what I can. I appreciate all the support again. Take care until next time. Fun on Vancouver Island. Cheers. Cheers.